Hey everybody. I hope everybody had a very happy and blessed uh, Resurrection Day. And I know this day was about our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, rising from his grave. And, you know, the Easter Bunny thing and all that, that's just something, you know, for the kids. Now, when I woke up this morning and went to bed, I felt real good. Because, you know, I have a cousin that has three boys. I think Brent is, her oldest child is nine, I think. I think it's nine, eight, and the baby boy, he turned three today. Okay, she doesn't, you know, do what she should do for her kids. Um, so I, I, I put together them some baskets myself. And then I got the, the baby boy outfit because it's his birthday. Now, she told me she got off at 1 today, and she did. She came by about, I want to say maybe 1.30, 2 o'clock, and she said, well, I'm going to pick up the kids from the babysitter, two of the boys, and the other boy was at it. The baby boy was at his dad's house. Okay. 3 o'clock passed, 4 o'clock passed, 5 o'clock passed, nobody. So I called, no, her mother called me, the one that was in the hospital, and the kids were with her. She done brought them there and left them babysitting while she go out and party. Knowing she's supposed to have been over here. We cook for them and everything. So she brought, she did finally come up and her mama told her, say, well, you know, they're waiting on you over there. And she said, okay, we'll be there in about 30 minutes. So they... When she brought the mama and the boys, they got here, I want to say maybe about 6, about 6 o'clock, 6.30, somewhere along in there. Because I figured by that time, if they had came earlier, they'd be ready to calm down, go home, get ready for school tomorrow. You know, get their baths and stuff out the way. And plus, hubby has to go to work. So, <clears throat> that didn't happen. It was just a mess. I got mad and mad and mad and mad. But when she did come, she brought her mom and uh, one of the boys. They stayed. But the baby boy and the other boy went with her. Then she didn't come back till about almost eight. And she sat in the car, y'all, while the other two boys finally came on in the house. And I, they played. we played and we played. You know, they enjoyed their baskets and ate dinner. She sat in the car asleep. We had the oldest boy to go and take the keys. She was 30 shades to the wind, y'all. I just don't know. I got so mad today. I didn't dress nobody for Easter. Nothing. I, I was just, I was hurt and I was mad. But I said, I'm not doing this no more. I should have learned from the first time I did it for her. She didn't even tell me thank you. But I did it for the kids. But it still hurt me. And then I kind of said something bad to myself today. I said, you know, it's a shame that I was not able to have kids, but people that have them and don't need them, they can have them like it ain't nothing. But I I came in and I uh, apologized to my father because I wasn't trying to blame him for anything. I just, I just was mad and angry. But I'm holding my baby now and I'm going to be okay. But I know she'll call me when she's sober. And I'm probably going to let her have it. I'm sorry. That's just something I need to do. But anyway, me and Malachi are going to spend us some snuggle time because mommy needs to calm down. I don't want my blood pressure up or anything like that. Because, you know, it was bad. I felt like fighting my cousin. But I didn't, I didn't do nothing because I didn't want the kids to see nothing you know, bad or negative like that. That's crazy. All right, guys, I didn't want to bore y'all, but I just had to vent a little bit. I'm just feeling like, I don't know. All right. I hope everybody enjoyed the rest of your evening and hope all the babies didn't eat too many eggs and candy. <laughs> All right. Love you all.